Hi boys and girls, this is Miss Lauren from the Davenport Club and today we have a really fun activity for you. Now the reason it's going to be so cool is because we're going to be doing a science experiment and an art project at the same time. There are some plies that you'll need and you probably already have most of them at home. You'll need some milk, some dish soap, food coloring, a q-tip, a shallow dish. It can be any sort of dish, a bowl, a really deep plate, or even a baking sheet. And just some plain white paper. Now you'll want to make sure that the paper is small enough that it will fit inside of whatever dish you're using, and you'll understand why that is in a few minutes. Okay, first you're going to pour the milk into your shallow container. Then you'll add a few drops of each color food coloring that you want to use. Next, dip your Q-tip into the dish soap and then dip it into the milk right next to where the drops of food coloring are. There you can see how they move around. Isn't that awesome, you guys? We'll try this one over here. And now that our food coloring has moved around in this um, design, we're going to move on to the art part of today's activity. So you're going to take your paper, you're going to set it in the milk, let it sit there for a few seconds. Then you'll pick it back up and then you can keep doing it with as many pieces of paper as you have. And now that our artwork is drying, it's the perfect time to start uh, cleaning up all of the supplies that we used for this. And you might be wondering why um, all of the science and art worked the way that it did. Well, here's how. The molecules in the dish soap are attracted to the fat molecules in the milk. So when you add the dish soap to the milk and food coloring, the molecules move around and try to bond, and that's what makes the food coloring move around the way it did. That's all for this video, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed it, and we can't wait to see you back in club.